how to improve your life. What up guys, today I am at the storage units here. You're gonna see all of the shit that I have in here. I'm gonna walk you through that, but I wanna talk about improving your life because it's funny, what's behind these doors is kind of the reason that I do the things that I do and the reason that I have the business that I have. And without, <laughs> without this passion, which you're gonna see once this door goes up, I just wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So I wanna take you kind of behind the scenes and talk about how to improve your life. So much shit in here, I know. It all looks like junk to you guys, I'm sure. But I can assure you that it's not. All this stuff in here is all stuff I've collected over the years. I've always had a strong passion for building cars and working on things and stuff like that. So just a little bit behind the scenes, guys. If you want to improve your life, if you want to learn how to improve your life, by the end of this video, you're going to be able to walk away from this going, okay, I've got some ideas. I've got some things that they didn't teach me in school, that they didn't teach me in college. And that's really what it's about to me is I want you guys to be able to live that perfect life and have that lifestyle. Now, a lot of you guys know Instagram has been a huge breadwinner, a huge income earner for me and that might be the case for you it might be a, a road that you want to chase down here's the thing that i found like i wanted to work on cars i wanted to build stuff right like behind me this this guy right here okay that's a 1977 f-250 i've owned that since i was 17 years old i'm 26 now i've had it for nine years all right i restored the whole thing i built it with uh who i didn't really realize was my first mentor tom parr I met him when I was 13 years old. We worked on this from when I was 17 till I was 19. I took it all the way out to a technical college for like four months. And then uh, when I came back, I didn't actually have really any money and I needed to pay my bills. And it was the only thing of value that I had. And I looked at this completely the wrong way. Okay, if you want to improve your life, the wrong, the wrong focus, the wrong energy is to start selling off things, okay? like. I sold this because I owed $800 on something. It was the only thing of value that I had, but I didn't look within. If I had looked within and gone, oh my gosh, I have skills. I have the ability to create and make things, to do awesome things, to give back, to monetize my knowledge, I wouldn't have sold this. So I sold it because it's the only thing I thought I had of value. Well, I sold it and uh, I felt really bad about it because Tom ended up dying and our initials are like stamped into the frame. We did so much work. I've got $50,000 into this thing. So I sold it, but I had the VIN memorized, F26SRY 66658. Literally, it's on the doorpost. I can show you over here, okay? <laughs> Actually, I'll show you guys. Check this out, okay? All right, so I told you guys the VIN, F26SRY 66658. All right, I guarantee you, let's see what that says right there. F26 SRY66658, right? So I sold the truck because I didn't have anything of value or so I thought. And I felt really bad about that, so I had the VIN memorized, I called State Patrol, I bought it back, okay? And that was, I don't know, two, three years later. It's basically in the same condition. As, as you see it like this is the way that it always was after I had restored it. So. I just didn't have any money. I didn't think I had any skill. I didn't think I really had much of anything. So I decided I need to sell it. I felt really bad, so I bought it back. Tom passed away, and it's just been something that I will never get rid of. But my passion has always been vehicles and working on things and building cool stuff. But it wasn't paying me, and I realized that if I wanted to do that, I'd either go in brand new, really green and go work for somebody else and get paid $10 an hour or something like that. Or I would go into business myself, not really knowing anything about business and then, you know, probably failing, probably going out of business and still trading all of my time for a small amount of money because I don't have the experience. I don't feel that I can get paid, you know, and it is really hard. I didn't see a way to take my passion and turn it into income. And it really comes down to changing your perspective, maybe changing the way you look at things and, and kind of just rerouting in some instances. Steve Jobs said, you can't connect the dots looking forward, but you can always connect them looking backwards. And ultimately that's exactly what happened to me. And I firmly believe that in life because what ended up happening is I asked myself the question, like, can I get paid to do what I love? And the direct answer was right now, no, I can't. I can't be a 19 year old kid wanting to start welding and working on stuff and building really cool stuff and getting it out there 
and like get paid. Like I just couldn't, I didn't have the money, I didn't have the resources, I didn't have the business sense or the knowledge at that time. So I was like, how can I do this? And I basically went on this now nine year journey to figure out how to do that. I went into sales. I spent four years at a car dealership and, and I highly recommend, okay, if you wanna go in business for yourself, you need to learn sales. I'm not talking about some little Amazon or Verizon kiosk. I'm talking about like hardcore sales, insurance, real estate, the car, the car business, the car industry, something like that, okay? So I went into sales and the whole reasoning was I need to be able to be paid more. I want to, I want more money than what I can do right now presently with, with this. And I want to be able to take that money and do this. So ultimately, I go into sales for four years. I start making really good money. I don't have time to work on stuff, but I'm, I'm making good money. 100K at, you know, 20. I'm making six figures by 20, 21, 22 years old. And then I started my own business while I was there. Vulcan Customs, my metal fabrication business. And I started doing this stuff. And then what I came to the point of looking at and seeing was that, hey, I put myself in the position where I now have money, but I don't have time. And then I looked at that and I'm like, okay, I need to be able to create more time and I really need to get out and I really wanna start doing this. So I opened up Vulcan Customs and I started making custom parts for motorcycles. By the way, guys, if you're brand new to the channel, I'm always dropping the entrepreneurial content, the stuff that's really gonna help you get ahead in life, not the bullshit that your mom and dad and your professor that makes $72,000 per year teaches you, but real life applicable stuff that's gonna get you ahead. So you need to tap that notification bell and you need to subscribe right now. Okay, did you do it? Okay, awesome. Smash the like, let's keep moving on. So I looked at this, I'm going, I'm making 100K a year and I am now starting on the side, going home and working on this, but I don't have the time. I'm sacrificing my friendships, my relationships, everything. And that's fine. Like that honestly was fine because I wanted it so bad. And real friends are gonna be there at the end, period. All right, same with the real relations. They're gonna be there at the end, all right? So I start going into this and I'm realizing that now I'm starting to do the stuff that I wanna do, but another problem. I'm a slave to what everybody else wants me to do. All I own is my job. All I own is my business and my business is catering to other people, doing stuff for them and I'm still not actually getting to work on like my projects, like the truck or like this 1951 Hudson or this BMW motorcycle that's under this cloth right here. I'm like, I'm still not able to do that. So I'm like, this isn't working, all right? I wanted to start off and I wanted to be able to, you know, build that car. I wanted to be able to build the truck or this motorcycle, right? Uh, this motorcycle is awesome, by the way, check it out, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that there, but this is a beautiful motorcycle. It's absolutely phenomenal. Just an amazing motorcycle, right? So I find myself at a crossroad and I'm just trying to figure out what can I do? I wanna start building cars, that's my passion. Okay, that's my pat. What I'm trying to get you to understand is that sometimes the thing that you wanna do you gotta go all the way around the world and come back on the backside of it, all right? <laughs> and then going straight to it. Most of the time we have this idea or this plan or this concept of how we're gonna get something done. And in reality, what ends up happening is like, here's our goal and we go straight for it. But the real answer is coming around backwards on it and hitting it from a different direction. I couldn't do exactly what I wanted to love because what I loved wasn't gonna pay based on the position I was at in life. So I went into sales. And then I started making really good money. But that age old problem that your parents have never figured out how to solve and what you've been taught is trade all of your time for money. And that's not an answer. And that's not what you're gonna be able to do if you wanna learn how to improve your life, okay? And you wanna create that optimal dream lifestyle. So now I have a new problem. I'm making money, all right? I have one thing, but I don't have the time. So what little, 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 little time I have, 63 hours a week at the dealership, 40 hours I'm coming home figuring this stuff out. I invest my time, invest the little money, maybe $1,800 I have to buy uh, this acetylene torch right there. Right there, okay? <laughs> and I start playing around with stuff. I'm like, okay. I start, I start making parts. I start listing them on my website that I built. And ultimately what ends up happening, I start making money with that. But I am spending all of my time making shit for other people and it's still not making me happy. So now I'm here with like, okay, I have a business, but <laughs> I'm not happy with it still. So I'm like back to the drawing board. And this is where I realized, oh my gosh, like I started figuring out how to get leads and sales with Instagram, which ultimately led me to 
like really, really, really honing in on Instagram and figuring out how to make money with Instagram. And then I turned that into a course and I realized that people wanted to learn and people wanted to pay me to learn the information that I had, just like you paid 50K a year to go to college, right? And I'm not even charging a fraction of that, not even a decimal of a decimal of that. People are coming to me and I'm monetizing Instagram, I'm teaching, I'm making money. And all of a sudden, this whole online world unfolds and now I'm making, you know, arguably residual income and I'm able to work on my own schedule wherever I want, whenever I want, with whoever I want, from my phone or whatever, right? And I'm going, my gosh, like, I get my work done, I set my own schedule, there's days that I can take and, and, and play or do different things as long as I'm following up, checking my leads, making sure I'm getting the content out, but my gosh, th this is paying the bills and I can make my own schedule. And now all of a sudden I'm in the very first position I've ever been in to actually be able to work on stuff. And presently, I'm here in Idaho right now, we're building the house, so this is just in storage for uh, a few more months till the house gets built. There's another storage unit over here that's got an engine to a, a, a dragster that I'm building right now. It's got two antique tractors in there, like a bunch of stuff. But I was able to restore this truck entirely. The motorcycle here, I've got a seat, handlebars, and shocks to do. Then the Hudson's the next project. I'm building a sprint car, which is completely finished. I have a 1971 Dodge Dart, which is about halfway done now. And I've only been working on it for one year. And to you know, take apart a car, customize it, could it put it completely back together, touching every part, modifying everything is crazy. And it's a huge time investment. The point is, I had to come completely around in a circle on the very thing that I wanted to be, a, to, to be able to achieve it, to be able to do it. I went directly for it, it didn't work out that way. So my point is, if you're trying to figure out how to improve your life, trust the process. The journey is the thing, it's not the destination, it's all about the journey. When you get to the destination, you set a new goal and you constantly work to beat yourself, to always improve, okay? You be relentless. As soon as you achieve one thing, you crush it, you move on to the next thing. Have your expectations higher than anybody else could possibly for you and keep chasing it, smash down the doors, knock that freaking goal down, and then go get the next one. That's what I'm telling you guys, okay? But what I want you to realize is that sometimes the answer to what you want out of life comes in a completely different way unanticipated. It was an eight, nine year journey for me to come out of high school, go to a technical college for like four months, go, okay, I'm not gonna get paid for that. Wanting to go build cars, realize I'm gonna be paid $10 an hour. Going in business wasn't an option for myself at that point. Got some experience, went into sales, earned $100,000 a year, then had money but didn't have time. Then really just finessed and finagled and tried to figure out what to do and then started this online thing. And this online thing allowed me to put myself in the position to be able to actually do this. And now, vicariously through all of these different things, I've come around backwards on the solution and I found it and it's working. You can't ever connect the dots looking forward, but you can always connect them looking backwards. My name is Ben Oberg. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to motivate you guys. Actually, just kidding. I'm not here to motivate you at all. <laughs> I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you crush your business goals. I'm here to help you reach the next level, but it all starts with you. You've got to be willing to invest the time. You've got to be willing to invest the money and you've got to get yourself access to the right information. Appreciate you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you awesome people next time.